Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really special friend with me. This is Emma. You guys might have seen her on my Instagram before and uh, we thought today she could come over and film and get ready with me and this is the look that we created together. If you guys are ready to see how we both got this look, just keep on watching. I'm gonna go in with this classic eyeshadow primer for my face. Going with the soft things. glam palette. I actually don't mind the brush that comes with it. Mm, I actually think the Anastasia ones are very good. It's a little scratchy, but like they're very good. I think they're. I don't know. I'm actually using a naked one, so naked ones are very good too. Yeah, I like the naked ones as well. So I'm going in with this color, lace. I'm gonna go in with dusty rose. Oh, that's a red. Gonna go in with more lace. With this one, I'm gonna go in with Amethyst. Sometimes, like I don't know if it's the primer that's making it apply so well and pigmented, or it's the eyeshadow cost. But I feel like primers definitely help, no matter what brand. I feel like mine sticks. I don't know. I, I use the Fenty one, mm -hmm. and it, like sticks onto my eye, and I panic because I can't blend it out. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm not good at my makeup or what. What's the problem, you know? You just have to pack it really lightly, I think. Like, don't... You know how they always say, like, less is more? Because, like, you can you can always add, but you can't take away. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna use, uh, like, a mist to kind of make it more pigmented. Now I'm gonna go in with rose pink from the palette. I'm going in with mint frost. Is this concealer? That's a concealer? Yeah, it says conceal. So is it creamy? No, I don't it. I'm just going to go back into sultry a little bit to make sure that the pigments kind of blend in the middle and back into dusty rose kind of just blend everything in together Okay, so I'm going to go in with my concealer to conceal here and I'm using the Laura Mercier I'm just going to go back in with Mulberry to add more definition into my outer V taking tempera to kind of smooth out the blending a little bit I hate it when I haven't done eye looks in a long time until my blending has gotten really bad. I'm gonna take Cypress Umber. It's really nice to see you do colors. Yeah, because so, I never do. I'm going to use this Spotlight Highlight palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go with the pink highlight for the inner corner. It's actually really good. It's really, really good. So now we're going to start our face makeup. I haven't used this in a long time, so I'm going to go with this Dior for a little booster. I'm going to spray this like the it's in my makeup list. So I'm gonna go in with my primer. I use the Fenty Beauty and this is the soft matte version. But today I'm gonna use foundation on the which is a cosmetics by by line foundation. So with one pump. I don't believe in excessive pumping in foundation. Okay, so I'm going in with my foundation now, and it's Dior Skin Glow. Half a pump. This is actually one of my favorite brushes for foundation now. I noticed that when my skin is like not doing well when it's dry, I don't like to use brushes. So you like to use your beauty blender? I do. But I also love brushes too. It just really depends on how my skin is or like what product I'm using. Because some products are like better for certain things. I have been loving, like loving brushes lately. Like I don't even use a beauty blender lately. Like I haven't used one in like months. Okay, so now we're gonna do our concealers. Yes, I'm gonna go in with two, the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer and the YSO All Hours Concealer. I'm going in with one and just my Feather Pop. This is just to color correct a little bit. 
because there's a little bit of darkness, but I think it's from the eyeshadow, <laughs> not actually in my skin. What shade are you? Well, that's just my color correcting shade. It's in the shade Honey. Um, yeah. This is really light and really like full coverage. We're gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. It's so good. I've never shaped it like that before. Mine is in dark. Wait, medium to dark. This thing, it looks pigmented, but it, I mean, it kind of is, but it blends easily, so like, you don't really have to worry. Coconut Milky Mist by Too Cool for School. She looks so interesting. Thumbnail. <laughs> So my contour is going to just be the, this one. Oh, this contour one, nice. This, um, the shade in Illuminate. How many shades do they have? Like three. I have in number one. Intensity one, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this brush today. Um, this is from Sephora. You know what? I saw Patrick Ta using one of the brushes from this exact collection. Which one? I'll show it to you. It was in the video he did with Chloe Mor Morello. Do you know how to not make your friends spend money? I feel like the moment I stepped in, she was like already telling me like, you should get this skincare. You should get this. This is very good for you. I feel like the contours I'm using are like literally the best on the market. I would like to try Tom Ford products, but the only things I have by him are his lipsticks. Real talk here, that was like one day when I was like, oh, I don't actually have anything from Tom Ford. And I literally went to spend so much so I could try his products. And so my verdict is his products are very bougie, bougie, very good. But honestly, when you blend it all out and you take a photo, people can't tell. Like, you know what's interesting to me? Victoria Beckham Beauty. I heard about it with Estee Lauder. Oh well, yeah, that was like a collab and now she made her own. I wonder how it's going to be. Lisa Eldridge likes it. Which celebrities do you want to see do like the makeup line? No one. That's nice. No, because I really believe in like scientists, dermatologists, and estheticians back brands, especially skincare brands. And when it comes to makeup, if it's a blogger, I really respect and follow because I've watched them for years and I really like believe in what they do. Like they have skills and talent. It's kind of like Okay, and I'll support you. Like, I'll always buy things that Carly Bible makes. Yes, I know. Oh, this is the Dior lip glow. This is the Himalayan lip glow. Oh, it's Himalaya. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting. And I'm gonna use my finger and just highlight. Charlotte Tilbury's. I love this highlight. It is so, it's literally perfection. There, I don't have any other cream highlight like this one. To be fair, this one, the Tom Ford highlight is very um, subtle, but that is like Jeffree Star style. It's like the glitters are so fine and it's not crazy or overpowering, but what makes it it is like the glow. And I kind of wish like they made it bigger. Yeah, it's so little. And, and if you don't blend it fast enough, it can be kind of streaky. Like, see, the Tom Ford is very subtle. Yeah. This one now. It's like editorial highlight. Yeah. This is a cream blush. Yeah. I was like, okay, I think it's a blush. You're not gonna go for more contour, are you? Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's a multi purpose product, like lips and cheeks kind of thing. It's by this. I got it in like a birch box. And now onto powders. So next, we're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Oh, it's very like what's it called? It's like a it's like a filter. Hmm. It's very brightening though. That's crazy. Um, I'm actually gonna do something kind of strange. I'm gonna go into this Dior Backstage Contour Palette. But I'm gonna take the highlight shade to kind of set because you know what? It's not really that glowy or glittery. It's not obvious. So I'm gonna see what it does if I set. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go for more contour. This is the Kat Von D shade and light. Tell tell them the story of like how you went out and bought that. So, yeah, yeah. Urasaya <laughs> Spurbud. 
um, she was like doing this Vogue video. And then I was like, I, I really, I, I even figured out what shade she used. And I literally like zoomed in, screenshot everything. And I like ran out that day to go get this, this palette. I'm gonna go with this Tarte palette. It's the clay plate. It's the first one. I don't think they sell this one anymore. No, they don't. I'm gonna go in with terracotta to bronze. I'd be like sitting in my room, grabbing all my tar powder products and just be like... <laughs> like that. Like that. <laughs> that should be our thumbnail. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the shirt, a shirt with the shade dessert to contour. I'm gonna go with my blush because I like blush. Ooh. And I freaking love this blush. It's called Winter Kissed. Win Winter Kissed. And it's by Kylie's Cosmetics. It's like a pinky blue color. This is my favorite. I'm using the same shade, Dessert, to contour my nose and my lips. I don't want too much because my eyes are already very bubblegummy. I got the Physicians Formula Butter Bronze. No, Butter Blush. So now we're gonna do eyebrows. I think I really wanna do eyebrows. Can we do it yet? Okay, okay, okay. We'll do eyebrows. <laughs> Perfect then. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off the rest of my eyes now, actually. Yes, me too. Mulberry and cypress umber under the eyes. I'm going in with Nudist, Peach Puff, and Xena, like under the eye. I'm going in with Twilight. Get the color texture. I'm adding a little bit of memory. Red. I want to go in with the Allure highlight shade in the Spotlight Highlight Palette by I'm just going to go in with some more purple to really deepen my eye. So we're going to go in with this. I'm just going to go in with the Crave and just highlight my nose. My favorite thing to do in any eyelids. So I'm going to take this Dior Coal Liner and it's in the shade... It's a beige coal. I'm going to just... Um, line my water with this Urban Decay 24 Power. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna eyeliner, use a bit of eyeliner. This is my Chanel eyeliner. I really like it because the little tip is like this. Ooh. I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. It's my favorite Tarte Mascara. I haven't tried the Flashes Lights one, but this one, Dom went to Ulta to get it for me. I'm going in with the Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. I'm also going to go with my under eyes mascara, but I'm going to use a waterproof one as far as much as I can. go with the brown one. This is Maybe Total Temptation Waterproof one. You can only get the waterproof one this color in the US. So now we're going to do some last minute things. I'm going to set my face, highlight, and lips. Lancome Setting Spray. Um, Dior. Universal Face Glow using these two shades and she's nice. So I'm gonna go back and with the same palette. And I actually like to mix, but today I'm gonna do Dream and Radiance. This is the L'Oreal Color Rouge Shine of Varnished Mountain. I got this in the US setting. Okay, we're gonna go in with Pillow Talk. I'm gonna go in with Amazing Grace, just slightly in the center. So I love this so much. And I love in the color fussy. Okay, so this is our, our makeup up close. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you, Emma, for coming all the way over to this video with me. Oh, thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> Always. So we'll do some more videos together sometime in the future. Don't know when, don't know where, don't know how, but we'll do something. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to link all of her social media profiles below. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.